King Charles set to avoid stirring up conversations about Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. King Charles likely wants to avoid stirring up conversations about Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, a PR expert exclusively told GB News. In 2024, the royal family has suffered a shortage of working members of the firm due to various health concerns within the family. In January, it was announced that both Princess Kate, 42, and King Charles, 75, were being hospitalized at the London Clinic for different operations. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The Princess of Wales underwent abdominal surgery, while the King received a corrective operation for an enlarged prostate. The following month, it was announced King Charles had been diagnosed with a form of cancer that was not prostate. In March, Princess Kate recorded a video from her home in Adelaide Cottage to announce she had begun a course of preventative chemotherapy for cancer. As a result, Queen Camilla, Prince William, Princess Anne, and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh have had to perform the bulk of royal duties. Many commentators have argued that Prince Andrew's daughters, Beatrice and Eugenie, would make great options as working royals amid the current shortages. However, Luana Ribeira, a business and PR expert and founder of Dauntless PR, spoke exclusively to GB News, explaining that this could have negative consequences. She said, if Beatrice and Eugenie become more involved in official duties, this is likely to stir up discussions further. Their father, the Duke of York, 64, stepped down from royal duties in 2019 and was stripped of his honorary military titles in 2022. Following his disastrous Newsnight interview in 2019, where he famously discussed his friendship with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein, Prince Andrew was forced to step back from public life. Ribera claimed that making Beatrice and Eugenie working royals could lead to Prince Andrew returning to public life. She added, it could be interpreted by some as King Charles offering his brother a way back into life as a working royal himself. This comes as Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice were included in a popularity poll for the first time this year. Eugenie and Beatrice are both liked by 37% of Britons. Queen Camilla named the hit Netflix show she watched during an appearance with King Charles. The King and Queen attended the Chelsea Flower Show in London on Monday afternoon where they were shown around various gardens. Charles, 75, and Camilla, 76, arrived in a state Bentley before separating to see as many gardens as possible between them. One of the first stops on the Queen's tour was the Bridgerton Garden inspired by the popular television show. The secretive and secluded space is based on Penelope Featherington, the leading character in Bridgerton's most recent season. Holly Johnston, the garden designer, described it as a safe, personal and intimate space for the character who Johnston imagined running away to the garden when she was having a hard time during the show. As the Queen was led around the garden, she said, I watched the first lot. The first part of the third season of Bridgerton was released on May 16 while part two will be released on June 13. Following her visit to the Bridgerton Garden, the Queen was led to the Highgrove Gardens shop, which is featuring at the show for the first time. In the shop, she was presented with willow sculptures of her two rescue terriers Beth and Bluebell, who were sat behind two dog bowls with their names printed on them. The sculptures were made by artist Emma Stothard, who established her business with the help of the Prince's Trust. Stothard told The Telegraph that the sculptures would be taken back to Highgrove, the King and Queen's Gloucestershire home, and placed in the gardens. The King and Queen reunited to visit the No Adults Allowed Garden, the first garden in the show's history designed by children to encourage young people to try gardening to help the planet and have fun. The monarch stood and talked with pupils from Sullivan Primary School who co-designed the garden. The queen looked regal in a blue dress matched with beige sandals while the king stepped out in a navy suit. 
The green-fingered monarch has a long-standing history with the RHS and has regularly attended the flower show over the years.